LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pitching downrange. Dave, long propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds. Callouts indicate nominal. The Spark mission flying with Neil and the crew in the council. We're into the throttle down, into the throttle bucket. Okay, you do want to throttle down? Throttling down in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. A minute in the Belt flight. Nine, it's supersonic. Stage one, throttle up. That is a nominal call. Everything continues to be good. Looks like a smooth ride for the crew. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Boosted there on the left hand side of your screen is making its uh, way back down to earth. The grid fins have popped out to assist with the steering. It will be making a landing attempt on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, uh, which is parked out uh, and holding position in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, so we have a couple of views on Acquisition screen. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. Uh, as Kate mentioned, left hand side is a view from the top of our first stage looking down that has already separated from the second stage and it's making its way back to Earth. The velocity of the first Dragon stage SpaceX trajectory nominal. is being tracked on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. On the right-hand side of your screen is a view of our second stage, which everything looks to be going normal, uh, <laughs> normally uh, with them. Um, and you can also track the velocity on the second stage on the bottom right-hand side of your screen. And we also have awesome views of the crew inside of their capsule as well. I'm pretty sure during first stage ascent, I saw Dr. Okay, Cyan Proctor. I'm pretty sure I saw Dr. Cyan Proctor give us a, two thumbs up. <laughs> yep. I'm sure she enjoyed this ride that she's been waiting for her entire life. Yes. Uh, um, one notable thing, too, is we're getting some twilight views. Um, the sun just set in Florida, but we're high enough um, uh, up where uh, the light around the horizon is also reflecting off of very high altitude objects, such as the first and second stages. Trajectory nominal. Love to hear that call out. Trajectory nominal from the guidance Thanks, engineer. Sir. Also notice we're really up there now, well past 100 kilometers. Acquisition of signal, New Hampshire. Just before that view switched, we saw some uh, teammate fist bumps going on there inside <laughs> of the cabin. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're having a fun ride there. Yes, uh, next milestone for this mission is actually going to be happening on the first stage. Um, it's going to be performing a re-entry burn that's going to be coming up around the T-plus seven-minute 
and um, 30 second mark. Uh, that burn is used to slow down the first stage. Uh, we'll be uh, beginning its landing burn. And here we have the MVAC. We just saw that it um, shut Pico. off its engine. Stage one, landing burn all right, good news there. The nominal orbit insertion. That's amazing news for our Inspiration 4 crew. Yeah, was the voice of SpaceX chief engineer, chief engineer Bill Gersten Mayer communicating with Inspiration4 commander Jared Isaacman.